Good day everyone. Today I will discuss the lesson 5 in financial management with, which is the operating and financial leverage. In this lesson, the learning outcomes are as follows. Explain the concept of financial leverage. Discuss the alternative measure of financial leverage. Understand the risk and return implication of financial leverage. Analyze and combine effect of financial and operating leverage. And highlight the difference between operating risk and financial risk. Financial decision is one of the integral and important parts of financial management in any kind of business concern. A sound fi financial decision must consider the board coverage of financial mix, which is the capital structure, total amount of capital, which is the capitalization, and the cost of capital. Capital structure is one of the significant things for the management, since it influences the debt equity mix of the business concern, which affects the shareholders' return and risk. Deciding the debt equity mix plays a major role in the part of the value of the company and the market value of the shares. The debt equity mix of the company can be explained with the help of leverage. Okay, what is leverage? The term leverage refers to an increased means of accomplishing some purpose. Leverage is used to lifting heavy objects which may not be otherwise possible. In financial point of view, leverage refers to the furnish, the ability to use fixed cost asset or funds to increase the return of its shareholders. James Horn has defined leverage as the employment of an asset or fund for which the firm pays a fixed cost or fixed return. Leverage can be classified into three major headings according to the nature of finance mix of the company. What are the types of leverage? Operating leverage is associated with the investment activities. It is cost due to fixed operating expenses in the company. Operating leverage may be defined as the company's ability ability to use fixed operating costs to magnify the effects of changes in sales on its earnings before interest and taxes. Operating leverage consists of two important costs, which is the fixed cost and the variable cost. When the company is said to have a high degree of operating leverage, if it employs a great amount of of fixed cost and smaller amount of variable cost, the degree of operating leverage depends upon the amount of various cost structure. Operating leverage can be determined with the help of a break-even analysis. Financial leverage Represent the relationship between the company's earning before interest and taxes or operating profit and the earning available to equity shareholders. Financial leverage is defined as the ability of a firm to use fixed financial charges to magnify the effects of the changes in EBIT on the earning per share. It involves the use of funds obtained at a fixed cost in the hope of increasing the return to the shareholders. The use of long-term fixed interest bearing debt and preference share capital along with the share capital is called financial leverage or trading on equity. Financial leverage may be favorable or unfavorable depends upon the use of fixed cost funds. Favorable financial leverage occurs when the company earns more on the asset purchase with the company than the fixed cost of their use. It is called also as a positive financial leverage. When we say unfavorable 
financial leverage, it occurs when the company does not earn as much as the fund cost, and then it is also called as negative financial leverage. The degree of financial leverage may be defined as the percentage change in taxable profit as a result of percentage change in earning before interest and tax. There are financial leverage primary advantages. Enhanced earning, which is financial leverage, may allow an entity to earn a disproportionate amount on its asset. And the favorable tax treatment. In many tax jurisdictions, interest expense is tax deductible, which reduces its net cost to the borrower. However, the financial leverage also represents the possibility of disproportionate losses since the related amount of interest expense may overwhelm the borrower if it is not earn sufficient return to offset the interest expense. This is particular problem when interest rate rise on the return from asset decline. The unusual large swing in profit cost by the large amount of leverage increase the volatility of a company's stock price. This can be a problem when accounting for stock option issued to employees. Since highly, stocks are considered to be more valuable and so create a higher compensation expense that would less our shares. How financial leverage is measured? It is measured by the debt to equity ratio, which is used to determine the amount of financial leverage of an entity and it shows the proportion of debt in the company's equity. It helps the company management, lender, shareholders, and the other shareholders understand the level of risk in the company capital structure. It shows that the like Likelihood of borrowing entity facing difficulties in meeting its debt obligation or its level of leverage are at healthy levels. The debt equity ratio is, cas is calculated in total debt. In, in this case, refers the company current liabilities and the long-term liabilities. Risk of financial leverage Although financial leverage may result in enhanced earnings for the company, it may also result in disproportionate losses. Losses may occur when the interest expense payments for the asset overwhelm the borrower because the returns from the asset are not sufficient. This may occur when the asset declines in value or interest rates rise to unmanageable levels. Volatility of stock price, bankruptcy, and reduce access to more debt. When we say volatility of stock price, it increases amounts of financial leverage, may result in large swing in the company's profit. As a result, the company's stock price will rise and fall for more frequently, it will hinder the proper accounting of stock option owned by the company's employees. Increased stock prices will mean the company will pay higher interest to the shareholders. When we say bankruptcy, in a business where there are low barriers to entry, revenues and profits are more likely to fluctuate than in a business with a high barriers to entry. The fluctuation in revenues may easily push a company into bankruptcy since it is uh, unable to meet its rising debt obligation and pay its operating expenses. With looming uh, unpaid debt, creditor may file a case at the bankruptcy court to have a business asset auction in order to retrieve their own debts. And lastly, the reduced access to more debt. 
When lending out money of the companies, financial provider assess the firm's level financial leverage. For companies with a high debt to equity ratio, lenders are less likely to advance additional funds since there is a higher risk of default. However, if the lenders agree to advance funds to a highly leveraged firm, it will lend out a higher interest rate that is sufficient to compensate for the higher risk of default. Operating leverage is defined as the ratio of fixed cost to variable cost incurred by the company in a specific period. If the fixed cost exceeds the amount of variable cost, a company is considered to have a high operating leverage. Such a firm is sensitive to changes in sales volume and the brutality may affect the firm's EB, IT, and return on invested capital. High operating leverage is common in a capital-intensive firm such as manufacturing firms since they require a huge number of machines to manu manufacture their product. Regardless of whether the company makes sales or not, the company needs to pay fixed costs such as depreciation of equipment, overhead on the manufacturing plant, and maintenance costs. Calculating leverage formula is calculated by multiplying the quantity of the difference between the price and the variable cost per unit divided the product of quantity multiplied by the difference between the price and the variable cost per unit minus fixed operating cost. Financial leverage is use of debt to buy more assets. Leverage is employed to increase the return on equity. However, an excessive amount of financial leverage increases the risk of failure since it becomes more difficult to repay the debt. And that's all for today. Thank you.